Hello girls, we are in Quebec City and we're doing a concert tomorrow at this place called the Dagobert. And I want to show you my hotel room. It's a nice uh, suite, I got a TV and uh, I want to start this uh, segment that I'm gonna call Hotel Artwork uh, Review. So I'm gonna be reviewing hotel artwork. Let's start with um, this one here. Okay, so this painting here has been made by Michael Marcon. Marcon sounds really weird because in French con means cunt, but it's not like a bad word. Like a little kid say cunt all the time here in Quebec. Uh, they say uh, con, like oh, this, this is like a word like silly, you know. They will say, oh, this game is silly. Stop being silly. So, stop being a cunt. Oh, you're so cunt. My 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 uh, teacher gave me uh, our uh, homework. It was a cunt homework. It was easy to do. It was so cunt. So this is something we say a lot. It's fine. So here we can see a juxtaposition. So juxtaposition means that like, there's like one thing next to another. It doesn't overlap. Uh, we can see a uh, play. They play with textures. I don't know what kind of texture they want to do, but I guess it has. There's a theme here, which is the soil. You know, even the colors are like the soil. You can see a little painting artwork. I don't know why he signed here instead of there. This guy wanted to be known. You know, he was like, "Hey, people need to see my name. I'm gonna put my name like in the middle of the frame." Or maybe like this was the original painting and they just add, added this shit on top, like the people who manufacture those things for hotel room. Let's see uh, what it is like in the back. So this is uh, Bouclair. Okay, this is made by Bouclair. It was sold for 25 Canadian dollar. Bouclair is some kind of place where you um, can buy wool and stuff fabric to make some kind of stuff like decoration so okay so that was 25 dollars at Bouclair. uh warm colors let's see like you can see the warm color match well the the stone or the brick wall that we have in this hotel room and then let's move on with this one which match the same color scheme as this one here this one is a shit painting because it's like so easy to make like I can make one of these in five minutes basically like you take some oil painting like this is not the real painting it's just a print right so you can take some oil painting because it, it blend easier with your uh, kind of scraper I don't know like the words in English but that's fine uh, so you just put some color and then phoom, you swipe and you swipe right just like on tinder or left I don't know I don't use these things because I got the groupie meeting me here tomorrow outside this bar at 11 p.m. come and see the show it's gonna be amazing okay let's move on I can fuck, you know oh so you just do those swipe and then you got these little you add those little thing there to make some kind of tree and this thing here this is a cunt thing I don't I don't know what is supposed to be it's the reflection of the Sun but there's no Sun apparently the Sun is here because that's like the brightest place is here but if it's here it should be there wait someone is calling me how do I do this okay I'm back so I don't like this one but it's super big let's see what's in the back Oh shoot, okay, this one is massive. Uh, okay. Shit, oh damn. Okay, this, this one is massive. There's no, so it, it was an hang on wall with this, but there's no price or anything. Oh, okay, I need my two hands to put it back on. Wait, one sec. All right, so when you heard about Rockstar smashing those hotel room this is some kind of thing they do they don't do drugs they just like move around the paintings in the room because they want to see the price in the back okay now in this room what do we have we have one more painting so this is quite normal to have a painting on top of a bed okay look at all the hotel rooms you're gonna see you're gonna have a painting on top of your bed um 
sorry, I'm exhausted. Too much alcohol. Okay, so this matches the color as well and the theme, like the ground soil theme. We can see the sun here again. And this is a triptych, okay? Triptych means there's like three piece together, match together. They're juxtaposed together. Let's see if it's a real triptych. No, it's not even a real triptych. It's just a fake thing. Is it the same? No, EB Aparicio. That's not the same guy. I would like to see a hotel room where it's painting by all the same guy. Um, so you can see why it's not a triptych. It's the same thing. It's just match up together. So this one is with fun tack. I'm not gonna remove it. Oh shit, oh no, it's not fun tack. Okay, since it's removed, let's see in the back. But you can hide stuff here. It's also a great way to see if there is bed bugs in your hotel room. You can just check behind the frame because it's wood. Okay, so I don't really like this one. I, since it's there, I'm, it might follow me while I sleep. Let's see, one last thing. Let's see if this guy signed. Yeah, there was a signature here. We missed it. Some kind of death metal logo. No, maybe. No. Lizzer. This one is more serious because we can't tell the name. When you can't tell the name, it means that this guy might be known because he doesn't need you to write to read it to know who he is so it's a little bit less same with black metal logo um but when you're a, a newbie like you sign like this michael marcant because you want people to remember your name but this one also falls into remember my name because we can see the spelling right but this other dude here is quite true true norwegian painter man all right, so that's all. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and let's see again for another series of criticizing hotel room. Uh, don't forget to come tomorrow night at the Dagaba. Here we go, man. Here we go. But what the fuck this swing is on? Okay, so. Okay, so this is day three of, the, um, of this hotel room. Oh my god. It's like 9 p.m. I just woke up. The concert was fucking amazing. It's two days ago, man. Anyway, I should cut my nails right. Um, I forgot, there I forgot a couple of things here in the hotel room, so I need to cover these things. It's always like that with art, like there's a first thing you see when you look at art, and then after a while, like you notice more stuff. So I'm gonna cover the things I've missed on the first night. Um, this thing here, I haven't seen it. That's like a decoration in the bathroom, I guess. Uh, this is very... Uh, I don't know, what is this? It's, I don't know what it is. Roman? Greek? What kind of shit is this? She has like a Coke bottle in between her legs. A can, I mean, not a bottle, a can. She's doing some kind of binocular with her hands to look at the landscape, but it's not really face on her eyes. Eyes breast left there. Wrist thin. So that's about it. That's very cheap. Let's see in the back. Uh, the frame is pretty good. Like the frame might cost more than this actual image. This looks like a print, you know, it's like a laminated print from a store. You can see it's like not resisting to the water. It's like the humidity from the, it's like super cheap material. It looks good though. Okay, let's see the other things we missed. This, I have nothing else to say about this. This is something, I saw something really cool here. I don't know if we can see it. Maybe I should film tomorrow morning. So there's like a little inscription there. Okay, there we go. So it's called Sundance Group, Sundance Graphics. 
and there's a phone number and here in the middle of the painting we got a website so let's go check out what this website is about Perfect. So that was the website, and here it's like Michael Macon, all rights reserved. So, oh man, I should end this video. This is nonsense. I don't really know what to say. Oh yeah, one last thing here. This painting is not a painting. This is some kind of Photoshop shit. Just some layers and colors and flares. It's like stock image one after another. So I don't really know how Al Aparicio, E.B. Aparicio works, but it doesn't appeal to me that much. Anyway, goodbye. You might think that we're super bad in Quebec to say this word, but hey, in Finland, they use that word quite a lot. It's called vitu.